I know it has been a year and some change since I have been here and streamed for you guys or made a video for you guys. Um, and so I apologize for that. Uh, last year was incredibly busy in my reptile room. My crested geckos had about 60 eggs hatch over 2021 and it was really exciting. Um, everything thrived and has been doing incredible. Um, a lot of them have been listed for sale. So if you're in the market for a crested gecko, I would be super happy to help you find your forever pet or a future breeder or help you with whatever project you're working on. But today for my return, I am introducing you to my new African fat tail gecko. It does not have a name yet, so I would love suggestions. I love reptilian gardens named Mango, but I didn't want to be another pet tuber that had a African fat tail named Mango. So I would love some name suggestions that are kind of cutesy like that, maybe food related for this male. Uh, Oreo Whiteout Crumble uh, Morph, I guess is what they called it. I don't know, that's a lot of fancy names that are related to food. Um, but I had been wanting an African fat tail. Um, I like that they do well in kind of a similar substrate to the crested geckos um, versus a leopard gecko, which is a little more arid. Uh, so I will be building up today the enclosure that is going to be bioactive for this adorable new gecko that I have. So I'm gonna be completely honest. It's currently the blinds leaving the blind. Um, this is the first bioactive with a background that I have done. Um, I'm doing kind of a different substrate with a lot more because all of my gecko enclosures kind of need some more substrate and a little bit of revamping. Um, and so we're just here with bins and water and large bricks of Repta Chip trying to survive. <laughs> so I'm gonna be completely honest. This, this is hopefully entertaining. Um, that is the value I currently have to offer you in this video. So we're using an old bin for our hopefully expanding Repta Chip. <laughs> 
which comes with no instructions. None, because it's the professional greeter. I'm a professional greeter. I still don't know what I'm doing. So let's put this away. And instinctually, instinctually knowing how cocoa fiber goes, we're just, <laughs> just gonna drop it right on in there. <laughs> and hope and pray, right? I feel like that's the way this, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, okay, it's expanding. It's, you know, it's doing a thing. It's doing something. It's definitely expanding. This was the right choice. Okay, well that's good. We're gonna let it do some things in here while we work on the sphagnum moss. <laughs> Let me go fill another bowl with water. Yes, still doing the most. So I will say this is my favorite brand of sphagnum moss. I love it because it takes up so little room. And I'm just gonna plop that in there. We will see how much that does. It is the New Zealand premium sphagnum moss brand, Best Grow. And it's there like 10, 100 grams. It comes so condensed down. Um, I've had so many people that have gotten my geckos that I pack in sphagnum moss um, ask me where I bought it because it's so soft. So we're gonna let it expand. Okay, so you saw how small the brick was when I put it in here. And now this is what it looks like. So it is a lot of sphagnum moss that comes out of that tiny brick and it is so soft. Um, I put a little bit too much water in here, but that is okay. Um, and then you can kind of fluff it up. And you have a bowl full of sphagnum moss. And then this I will save for whatever else I use it for. Okay, so we're just gonna make a mix. <laughs> so this is cocoa core that I already um, started to expand yesterday. mention I just added vermiculite which you can see is now that kind of sand looking item and now I'm gonna add worm castings it's like a nice um, addition you can put in your bioactive so yeah I'm touching worm poop right now y'all um, for a little bit of extra nutrient boost also I have some horticultural carbon. This is good for your plants.
Okay, as my final step, I'm adding springtails and powder oranges. It is finally time to add our little dude to it. Still needs a name. Oh my goodness, how cute is he? I cannot get over that little face. Here you go, little guy. 